Hello and welcome to another It's a Trap devlog. In this video, I'll be showing you my, all my progress on my latest up-and-coming Roblox game, It's a Trap. So this was a lot of fun to make, and I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any suggestions on this game, or on my channel in general, make sure to comment down below. And I will be playtesting this game soon, so make sure to join my Discord channel to get updates on when that will occur. So, without further ado, Let's get into the devlog. So this is very nice. Some good progress. I managed to get the hotbar working. It was a lot easier than I first anticipated. So what I'm doing basically is I can press Q and E to switch between all of the slots, but I can also click on which one I want. So all I really need to do for PC is allow you to like press 1 through 4 to select it. I'm not sure if I need that right now. I think for right now this is fine. And this also works for mobile and for console. Which is good because I need all platforms for this game. Okay, so after a few hours of work, I built upon the hotbar system that I created in the last video. And I also made a, another trap. So this is a trap. It is somewhat reminiscent of the Fortnite spike trap, kind of what I was going for. And obviously, if you step on it, spikes come out and they hit you. And this this one does 50 damage as opposed to the bear trap, which I changed to 100 damage. And it now works with uh, respawning, which is nice. So I can switch to my bear trap. Let me show you. So if I go on the bear trap, I die instantly. And you can also see I ragdoll. The ragdoll is very bad. I've been looking for some good ragdoll stuff. And nothing really works too well. So I just did the simplest one. But I think I might have to make my own soon. So you can take this, like, spike trap, I don't know, shove it there. It's kind of obvious right now. There's probably some good spots where you can put it, though. Like, maybe just run around. So if I could find a chest anywhere. A chest anywhere. There seems to be no chest anywhere. But you could probably, like, put it underneath a chest just to, like, bait people. And the chests, by the way, right now don't have really any functionality. And if you're crazy, you could put one right there. I don't know why you do that. There's, like, no point to it. But, I mean, still get you killed. But this whole system works very nicely. I'm very proud with how it turned out. It's very robust. Like, you can see me just spamming my keys to, like, switch through all the parts. And it just works pretty well. So, yeah. So, then I started working on the chest interaction system so this basically means i want a gui button that shows up and you can like press a key to open the chest and that will then give you coins and whatever so this went along pretty smoothly and it was pretty good so here's the time lapse Okay, this is some great progress. 
So in this little module I've made, I've managed to combine both server and client communications using remote events inside of my module. And the reason I'm doing this is for these buttons for the chess. So if I wait for the maze to load in, let me just find a chess. So right here, you'll see that when I walk close to it, will get a prompt. I have to zoom in my camera because it's dependent on the distance of your camera. We'll get a prompt to press F to open the chest. That's great. So now I can just press F. You can see the little gradient fills up. And then once I'm done, the chest opens. I can also close it right now. It's not really a defined feature. Actually, can I close it? Let's see. It's not really a defined feature, but it does work. And this is just so, right now it's just open and close the chest, but you can also see in the top right, now we have a coins leader stat. So when you open this chest, you'll get coins. Um, also, I don't know why that was, this is jiggling. That's kind of weird. But this is sort of, like, it, it works really well because the chest won't open unless you hold F for the, the given period of time. It's kind of hard to see right here because the gradient is not clear cut. But you can sort of see the yellow creeping in. And so once I hold it completely, the chest opens. So there you go. So this is sort of modeled after like the jailbreaks buttons. How if you like hold E for a certain amount of time, then you can complete an action. But obviously it does not look as good. I kind of wanted to replicate that sort of idea, but it was a little bit too complex. So instead I just opted for this nice simple gradient change. But it's very soft i need to make it a little bit more definitive and the cool thing about this is it also works with mouse clicks so i can hold mouse click on it it will open and so this allows me to work in mobile so i go into the mobile little thing also these GUIs are kind of messed up don't know why but I move around. I'm just struggling. If I move around though, I should be able to find a chest and activate it. Oh, there we go. It's over here. So if I go right here, and I can click this, and it will open. It's very big because I set it to a hundred pixels, like regardless of your screen size. So I might need to change that, but it works. So it works on mobile, console, and PC, which is great. I want this game to be able to go to every platform possible. Okay, so I've been doing a little bit of tweaking on the trap system and more of the chest system. So now. There's a button to toggle my traps, and now there's a count of my traps, so I have three bear traps right now. If I use all of them, I'll have zero, and I won't be able to place any more. And right now this is handled by the client, which is very unsafe. I need to switch that to server control as quickly as possible. And now, if I open a chest, the GUI will disappear, so I can't do it again, and there is a coins amount 100 at this point that gets added to my leader stats which is pretty good so the only problem with this is the fact that it gets added to my leader stats because in this game you won't gain coins until you escape and by escaping i mean like when you reach the very center that's where you'll be able to escape and you can you can escape whenever you want but the more coins you get while you're in the maze the more you'll leave with out of the mate out of the maze so your coins are not guaranteed to your leader stats until you leave the maze that's basically what i'm trying to say so i need to add like a separate amount for like the temporary coins that you have and other players will be able to take that from you if you die so yeah so I then got to work creating that temporary value that I said in the last clip and just working on the general game loop of my game. Like for example, creating the exit at the end of the maze and actually spawning you in. And this took me a fair bit of time. This time lapse is only a small snippet of it, but 
It was a lot of fun to make, and it turned out pretty well. So I've done a lot of UI changes recently, such as the stored gold indicator down here that shows how much gold you have while you're in the maze, because the gold up here on the top right is like your total gold at the end. And you also have this, like, so you start out with a grace period where you can like walk around, run away from other players if you see them, and then you have your prospecting period, and that's when all of the chests spawn in. So I'm just looking for chests right now. Oh, there's the exit. I just ran into it. And there's a little GUI up there so you can always find it. Because if you leave instantly, you won't get anything. That's one of the points of the game. So I just saw a little prompt over there. I must have missed it. I mean, right now, I can zoom out, which is kind of cheating. But I should be able to prevent that by like putting a block overhead. Or I could, honestly could just limit the amount you can zoom in general. So I just found something. I got my 100 stored gold. Now, I have 55 seconds left. Let's just go back to the exit. You can see the exit through the walls. And I touch it. My gold goes up there. Reset down there. And we are good. So there you go. That's pretty cool. So, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and this game is very close to a playable state, a vertical slice state. So, stay tuned for that. Again, in my Discord server, I will probably be making some public testing for it soon enough. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this devlog. Make sure to comment any suggestions that you have for this game or for my channel in general down below. And... Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. But other than that, I hope you guys have a nice day, and goodbye.